For the last week, we've been following the story of an alleged carjacker in Akron and Green, his arrest and the impact on the Summit County community. Tonight, for the first time, we're hearing from the mom, the victim in that carjacking at a fast food drive through I sat with her as she detailed the terror she and her young sons experienced. 3 News has chosen to refer to her by her first name only, and we will not be showing her face. Can you get it? Oh. No. A summer day spent with family on the front porch, a spot of normal for three little boys and their mom. In a week, that's been anything but. Put your fucking hands up! Hands away from your body now! Last week, Danielle and her sons stopped at the Taco Bell drive-thru on South Arlington Road in Green. They didn't know what would happen next. Right when I started ordering, that's when I heard the car door open. Completely unlocked. He got in so easy. He just, I looked over and I just saw him sliding into the passenger seat. And there are no words to describe how terrified I was. Climbing into her unlocked car, the man the Summit County Sheriff's Office identifies as 44-year-old Mark Carlson, accused of carjacking someone in Akron, trying to carjack others at a BP gas station before heading next door to Taco Bell. He said nothing. I didn't know what he wanted. I didn't know how to get my kids out of the car. Danielle says Carlson began attacking her, forwarding and reversing, crashing into the Taco Bell, trying to shove Danielle out of the car. My kids were screaming in the back for me, and I still, like, hear those screams. And I couldn't help them. Danielle was screaming, too, for her kids to unbuckle and run, fighting back, struggling to open the minivan's back doors. But she was overpowered. He just drove off with all three kids. He just drove away with my babies. <laughs> I couldn't stop it. But like their mom, those babies are survivors, jumping from the minivan. And all of a sudden, I saw... <laughs> Oh, thank God, I saw Adam. He was just running to me, and he was crying and screaming for me, and I bent down and I scooped him up. And then the eldest, Josh, who tried to stay in the minivan as long as he could to save his two-year-old brother. And he just kept saying, I'm sorry, Mom, I'm sorry, this is all my fault. He just kept saying, Nicholas is going to die because of me. The sheriff's office says Carlson took off with Nicholas, who was left at a gas station found and reunited with Danielle. 6-4, we got apprehension, uh, Euler and Kyle go slow everybody down. Carlson was arrested on multiple charges, including kidnapping. Bad charge. Bad charge. Bad charge. Physically, the boys had some bruises. Danielle has a fractured leg, but it's the emotional toll they're facing now. You got anger, you got guilt that I didn't do something different. You know, and then you got pure joy that you have all your kids, like, they're all safe. The focus is on moving forward. Danielle sharing this story in the hopes of helping others. I just don't want to see this happen to another family. Don't make yourself vulnerable. Just pay attention. Be more aware, even if it's in your hometown. Just takes one bad person, wrong time, wrong place. Danielle is remarkably strong. She and her boys will go through trauma therapy, and already she has signed herself up for self-defense classes. She says she wants to take control of her life and feel empowered and know exactly what to do should something like this ever happen again.